Okay, so now we're gonna do our last cupcake. It's going to be a hot chocolate cupcake and it's going to be so amazing. I've gone ahead and started our cupcake just like we did the other ones. I colored some fondant brown, cut our circle out and covered the top of our cupcake. That's going to be our hot chocolate effect on our cupcake. And we're gonna to top it off with some icing. How about that? To get that icing in the bag, let me just show you right quick how to prep your bag. Basically, you get a decorator's bag like this, pastry bag. You're gonna drop your tip into the bag. Push that tip all the way down. Look at where the top of that tip is, right here where the decoration stops, and mark it. Then you're going to push it back and cut off the end where you marked it. Then you're going to push that tip on through like that. Then you would fold it down, put your icing in there, and you have your icing bag ready to go. All right, so to do our mug, we're gonna make this whole cupcake into a mug. We're gonna take our red fondant, so our cup is gonna be red. We're gonna roll it out just like this till it's about two inches wide. So we want it to be about two inches wide to go around our cupcake. Okay, so we're gonna look at about how tall that needs to be. And I would say maybe about two, two and a half inches, like that. So I'm gonna cut it off. Actually, I'll just mark it to see where I need to start to cut and start evening up a rectangle. So we're gonna just cut right here and cut right here to get started. Then we're gonna take that red and we're gonna wrap it around the cupcake to make our coffee mug. Now it is a little bit big in the back. Got a little excess, but guess what? We can just mark it and cut that part off. So just unwrap it, oops. Take that cutter and cut that end off where you marked it. Now to get that fondant to stick together, you're just gonna take a little bit of water and this will be the back of your cupcake, so don't worry about the seam in the back, okay? Make sure your cup is nice and straight because cups are nice and straight and round. Okay, now to do the handle. So we've got our mug made. So to do the handle on the cupcake, we're gonna take our fondant, work it a little bit, roll it in a circle, and we're gonna roll it back and forth just like this but we're not gonna stop like we did before. We're just gonna keep going and keep going until we get a nice little, and this is gonna sound gross y'all, a nice little worm, <laughs> just like that. That about that size, that's about two inches. That's gonna be our handle, okay? So to get it to stick, we're gonna take a little bit of water, dab it on the side, and then we're going to take it and we're gonna just hold it right there at the top. Move it so you can see. And then I'm going to bend it and press it in at the bottom. Now I would let it just sit there for a, just a, about a minute or so, but it still needs to dry so it doesn't come apart, but it will stay long enough for us to see that we have a handle on our cup and a coffee mug or a hot chocolate mug in the making. Now what we're gonna do is finish this off by taking our icing and then we're just going to squeeze and swirl some cream on top and stop and pull away. And now we're gonna top it off with some chocolate chips. Ooh, y'all, it's looking good. And we cannot forget our, everybody say marshmallows. I love marshmallows in my hot chocolate. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So now we have our hot chocolate mug. Isn't that cute? So let's top it off with this straw. Just stick it in the cupcake like that. And we got our hot chocolate cupcake. Mmm. Yum, yum, yummy. 
So check it out. We have made some really cool cupcakes for the holidays today. I hope you've been inspired and thank you for making cupcakes with me.